Greetings and welcome to High Rise City. I'm Catherine Sky, and this is a brand new city builder that got released, I guess would be yesterday. Um, and I've been practicing uh, quite a bit. And there is one thing that annoys the crap out of me. Uh, and I will, I hope we'll get to it. Um, we might have to have a couple of episodes, but I don't know if I should continue or not because it is something that is, it feels very much like, oh my God, how could, how did they not see this? But anyway, let's start a brand new game and hopefully we'll get to it. So we can have the option of starting cities kind of all over the world. And you can see a preview of the cities down here. Uh, and what these previews views are kind of affects the map that you are given, right? Uh, in terms of we have like different kind of mountainousness, different like rivers and things. I think we'll choose Rio because I like the look of these rivers here. So let's choose a brand new city here. And we'll just choose a random name here. Belo Horizonte. Sure, why not? And then we'll just put here... Catherine, if I could spell, of sky. Um, sure, found city. We'll do normal. <clears throat> uh, the difference between easy and normal is uh, mostly the money and the build cost refund. We get no refund. We can get 50 research points. This we haven't unlocked yet, event, um, uh, evidently. So we'll just go normal. So this is a different city builder in that, like, it's different from city... Oh. My name is Ronnie, lead engineer and official voice of the High Rise City project. Our analysis of the data collected worldwide has shown that you are the best person for the new position of project manager. Your vast experience in strategy is unparalleled. Many different projects focusing on planning, simulation, and economics are listed in your portfolio. There is a lot at stake here. Our first attempts were difficult, so embrace the opportunity. But before you jump into action, here are a few hints about the special characteristics in High Rise City. Okay, so let's continue. I don't know if you can hear that very well or not. Um, Okay, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll play the tutorial and I'll show you the steps along with this. Okay, so we're supposed to move this around. I'm going to turn off the audio for these and then WASD. Next. Weirdly, the, the, the narrower was like WSAD. Dude, have you never ever like played a game in your life? Probably not, I would guess. They're probably just a voice actor and have not um, played the game before. Uh, okay, so we're we're told to start building the city. Now we've been told this is money uh, and how much we're gaining or losing. This is population and how much we're gaining or losing. So we're gonna start with building a road here. And annoyingly, I could not find a single. Uh, I couldn't find a control for how to um, turn on the grid. So right now there is actually a grid, but it's not showing it to us. And that annoys me because I would like to make sure and do a road that is straight with the border. And there are reasons for that. Um, okay, we'll do this for now. Okay, and here. Go there. Okay, that's fine. We'll have one large square for now. And we'll divide this up uh, later. So construction zone, craftsman zone. Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll divide it up now. I want to divide this into specific parts, and we'll talk about some of these later. Um, it's not really very necessary at the moment. We'll go ahead and go here and here. Okay, that's fine. So our first thing is to build a craftsman zone. And these are basically like low level residential people. Um, so we'll just kind of do this. Now keep in mind all of this costs resources. We have resources right now called wood and insulation and tools. Now, the golden rule here is that um, you need to have at least seven tools 
until you get to make tools. Because unfortunately, the devs made the game unplayable if you don't. <clears throat> this is the thing I'm annoyed about. I got annoyed about uh, uh, Captain of Industry for a very similar reason. Like you can literally fail the game within the first like half hour of playing it if you don't keep enough tools and the game doesn't tell you to do so. This is very annoying. Okay. Um, and it doesn't provide any other out for it either. Okay, the symbol appears. We're lacking stuff and things. We're lacking power, um, water, also shopping, and healthcare. So we're going to go ahead and give them what they want. So let's just uh, give them... It does show you how to do these various things. So go next. Yes, yes, yes. So, yep, 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 sure. So wind turbine, it does give you a decent uh, tutorial on how to get these things organized. Go ahead and put this uh, wind turbine here. Then we need to get a an electrical substation. We'll go with a small one. Now this has a very large area. So we're going to put this kind of in the middle here, uh, which covers our people. There we go. And then we're going to get our water situation organized there we go small water tower is fine here now most of these buildings including parks which i find like why why would you include parks parks also need to be connected to a road i do not agree with this in any way shape or form i do not like this idea also for whatever reason right click does not exit out of pipes i oh it does okay some it's apparently sometimes it does and other times not so, all right, let's just put this similarly to SimCity. You have to guess. Uh, I hate guessing on these things. Uh, maybe this will be enough, though. Maybe. Oh, whoops. Okay, apparently that doesn't work. Probably have to... Oh, okay. What? Uh, okay, this is not connected to the pipe. Okay, there we go. I guess it just wasn't connected properly. So hopefully these tiles are going to be fine. Uh, all right. And then here, let's take this one across and maybe like here. Yeah, maybe. Again, this is not seeming to snap to any grid position. So this is a tiny bit annoying in my universe. Um, I do like to be exact about these kinds of things, but it doesn't want us to be exact. So let's go next. Uh, all right, next thing is our garbage collector because our uh, city is going to generate garbage like all the buildings generate garbage. Um, we want to kind of put this outside the main living area because people will object if it smells like trash around them. Yep. So we want to build garbage dump. Let's just build a few tiles because they also cost resources. And there we go. Oh, we need to do two more evidently. We didn't have enough. Now, it has this brush size of <clears throat> of uh, three by three. And there is a way to do that, I think. Oh, there's pipette here. That's interesting. I, I didn't notice. Like, I thought pipette didn't have a key. Because if you look in the controls, it doesn't say there's anything. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Uh, doctor surgery and supermarket. Let's get those going. So doctors, again, needs some road assistance or road... Um, road connection and the supermarket we'll just go ahead and put it over here <clears throat> there we go now we're going to build a fishery now there's a reason i built the road here so we can make a fishery here we go so fishery so the the thing that differentiates this really from sim city is that you have to make your own food you have to grow your own uh vegetables and fruits and uh make your own clothing for people it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of like full service. They don't apparently have, this is like a deserted island. Now, these are for farms. You have to make an enclosed area before you make a farm. So let's go ahead and just do that. We'll put that one here. And then they'll plant this square with the farm. Okay, so select a road in the construction menu. Yeah, because they think we haven't built one. We're fine, thank you very much. Go away. So now we need to build a haulage company. Now, these are the people that transport stuff to stuff. So they're going to transport the vegetables to the supermarket. And over here, we're going to build some lumber, uh, lumber stuff. 
And that, then they're going to build, they're going to, well, well, I'll just show you. Okay, so they're telling us to click on the residential buildings and aha, look, everybody's happy now. Hooray. Isn't that great? Okay, good. Um, one of the things that I find really cool is that buildings like houses, look at this, they build their own streets. They even have street lights. It's great. I'm like, wow, this is, this is actual, you know, things. This is pretty cool. Okay, now we need to build our own materials, the wood and the insulation material. So we're going to build a, um, a log cutter. Oh, no, this is the insulation farm. Oh, uh, you know what? Don't get ahead of the tutorial because it doesn't give you credit. I don't like that. Okay, small logger. Here is a nice stand of trees out here. So let's just build the tree business right here. Uh, and then we need the sawmill. Those are two distinct places. Hello? Oh, construct building small logger. Why? Why do I need two of them? Okay. Click on placed logger. So they're going to be unhappy. Oh, no, they're oh, actually okay. We have enough people. Sometimes if there's like an exclamation point, it's because they don't have enough people. And you can check that by clicking here and um, seeing, okay, 20 of 20 jobs. Okay, that's fine. So ensure the loggers within the range of the haulage company. So we do want to build another haulage company because if your haulers have to drive too far, they get unhappy or it's, it's less efficient, let's just say. So we're going to build a sawmill next, and that is what actually produces the wood for us. Now, I highly suggest you fix your um, rotation keys. Uh, mine, I, they, I think they're on M and N by default, but I changed it to R, like Factorio. All right. So insulation material. Okay, that's another farm. So I'm going to put that here. And there we go. We have our stuff for now. Okay, we got it. Select the road. Like, why do we have to keep selecting the road? I don't get this. Like, they assume you're dumb or something. So next, let's do that. Okay, construction zone, office uh, zone complex. We have the ROI indicators up here, which I didn't see before they actually told me about them. I'm like, I'm used to them being down in the center as per SimCity. But let's see, where do we want to put the... Let's make the middle block uh, C, shall we? Let's just do this. And I don't like that it doesn't show you the placed zones. That would have been nice to be, to have that highlight on the ground. I wish they had that, but it's okay. We're going to just add what we can here. Because like right now, I can't tell that those are marked. I can't tell at all. It's a bit like, okay, how, why? Okay. So I also added some R because we need tons of R. And if you're unfamiliar, ROI is residential, uh, or it's actually RCI. Wait, oh, they're calling it O for offices. In, um, in SimCity, it was RC because C was commercial, which was stores and offices. And I is industrial, like um, factories and stuff. Okay. Uh, one building needs more water. Wow, already we need more water? Okay. Hmm. Uh, is that because it's out of the range of water? No. I don't know. Which building is it? Huh? Which building is it? Show me. Okay, we have the resources menu up here. And we can see if they're going up or down right now. The amounts there. So close the thing. Thank you. Open or make a city hall. We'll go ahead and make ourselves a city hall. I'll we'll just put this on the corner of, oh, Fairchild Crescent and Tetherwood Boulevard. That's nice that they named the things. That's quite cool. I like that. That's neat. It's a good feature. <clears throat> so some of the buildings are locked still, as you see. So now we can open the budget menu and see what's going on. We're at a very big loss right now. So we need to definitely make more... Either raise the taxes, which is never happy, or... Okay. Okay, we're just going to skip past this. When you play this, you can you can listen to it. Um, <laughs> the, the narrator is very good, but I, I just want to get going on this. Okay, so that's what we have right now. I don't know why this is not uh, growing. Why is this not growing? 
Okay, now it's showing me that it's sorted out. Maybe we didn't have enough resources before because they do need the planks and the insulation. What I love about this game is, first of all, the little roads. Oh, we got new buildings. Okay, we, we leveled up, basically. So we now get Office Zone Complex 1. We get fruit farms, clay pits, brickworks, and medium wind turbines. And we can see the next level. This is what we're shooting for. So we get a whole bunch of power plants. We get religion, small church, police department, and then other stuff. And then our first mass transit building. Okay, let's get back to what I was saying. I love that there are tiny little roads here and they make their own neighborhoods. It's great. I also love that there's like a huge variety of different buildings. It looks like a natural European city. Look at this great one. Oh my God, I love these. There's some really cool looking, almost medieval kind of buildings or very like, I don't know, Dutchland, uh, not to be confused with Deutschland, but Dutchland style buildings in here as well. I like that a lot um, because I, I love Europe and I am moving there very shortly, but it's cool to see that kind of a neighborhood going on. It's, it's very different than America land. Anyway, Okay, so we have uh, things and stuff happening, which is great. Um, what we need to do now, we do want to build the brickworks. So that's one of our materials that we need to make. Um, so there's a clay pit. Now this has to be placed on the clay. Mm, we have two farms eating up most of it. So I'm just going to try to place some. Does it matter? Okay, here's 100% clay. I'm just going to go ahead and make two of these. Oh, watch the tools. Watch the tools. Okay, we're going to read um, R on this. Okay, watch the tools. Not too many now. Because I want to I want to have a good production of bricks. Now, we're going to... I want to add more offices here. So, there you go. Nice. Now, the offices need bricks. Those are important for offices. So we'll be on, now we're going on fastest speed here because I'm just not very patient with these kinds of things. Uh, I just want to build. I want to get stuff done. So we have now fruit. We have a fruit farm, which is also extremely nice. So I'm going to, I can make this fruit farm over here, I think. Let's go ahead and just make this there. I like that they have these points. I think those are probably stopping points for turns and to have full coverage of the tiles. That's how I'm reading this. Now, fruit farm is going to be one tool. Okay, we can afford that. It's fine. So we'll put that there. There we go. Okay, so we are having some issues with electricity. Obviously, people are unhappy here with that. I do believe we got a better wind turbine in that mix of stuff that we got. So we can do a medium wind turbine here. That'll cost us 15,000, but that's worth. There we go. But yeah, I would love to have a, um, I couldn't find it in the options I did look, but a, a, an option to turn the grid on all the time. Because like initially placing roads, I want to place them on the grid because I had an issue where I built my very first road was diagonal and then I couldn't put any more wind turbines because it was like, oh no, sorry, too close to the border and diagonal, sorry. But everything else was perpendicular to that diagonal. So it messed up the entire map. It was kind of bad. It was very unfortunate. Okay, let's build some more residential here. This is kind of a nice uh, group here we got going on here. Wait, if I press two, oh, here we go. We got our hamlet. So now we get bus stops, coal-fired power plants, gas power plants, small solar power, small church, police, fire, uh, and roads, four lane and six lane roads. That's nice. So small village. Okay, look what's next. We get textiles, sheep. After this one is where you get your tools finally. So they expect you to survive this very long time without any tools. That's not great. Okay, let's uh, build very scant amounts of stuff things. Can we cover one area with the... Oh, yeah, there we go. With one fire station, we did it. Good. And then police, the police. Three tools. Oh, my God, highway robbery. I swear, man. Resources missing. Oh, bricks. We need more bricks. Okay, well, that should be solved by these guys over here, I hope. They're all meowing about this, but we need bricks, guys. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
So this will cover that, hooray. And then what are they gonna meow about next? Okay, so they're fine now. These people are building height. Okay, zero of 16 jobs. So they're meowing about people. There aren't enough people here. So that means we should probably build more, build more residential here. So we need to reach the next milestone to get the employee level of people. But yeah, these are really cool little buildings. I like the decorations of like little cars. Oh, there are people actually on the streets there. They're moving. Do they move? Wait, I thought, no, they don't move. Those move. Wait, there are some that move. Okay, we already got here. Fantastic. So now we need 1,800 employees. Uh, but we got also, we got regional haulage uh, thingy, tool rot. That's, oh, this is what we're going for. Uh, we need the tool rot, probably iron mine, smelter, probably charcoal maybe for the tool thing. Um, I don't know if that was involved when I was looking. I have to check, but yeah, you have to have a minimum amount of tools for that. And the devs do not tell you this. This is extremely annoying. Uh, okay. So they need, we do need a school to, um, to pander to the em employees, <laughs> the residents. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. So don't, don't worry about building any of this fun stuff. No, no. Um, so we can build a church and, um, let's build one like here and then we can build a residential, not residential. We, we can build a park. Let's build a park here. Okay. And then we'll build, we have only 19 tools left. I'm actually really worried right now. Okay. We need to build this higher level of, um, uh, humans. Sorry. <laughs> we need to build this higher level of employees. Okay. We're out of, uh, insulation. So we need to wait till we get some more. There's a lack of vegetables. That sounds terrible. Okay. New buildings, new buildings, new buildings. We have lack of fish, lack of vegetables. Okay. That's not great. I don't want to build way too much because I'm really worried about the tools. Let's see, energy, industry, food, fish, two tools. We can afford that probably. All right, we'll get another fishery. I am not building another vegetable farm yet. You guys can eat fruit and fish. It'll be fine. That sounds like a wonderful combination. There are birds. That's nice. Would be nice if they flapped a bit, but that's okay. They look cool. And there's a shadow. Extra points for shadows. Um... Yeah, the game looks really nice. And God knows it's like probably really difficult to build a city builder in this day and age because the expectations from gamers are so high because, you know, we've had SimCity and that uh, we and City Skylines as well. Um, that's also a great game. Um, and so we expect a lot out of a city builder. So uh, I think that's probably really difficult to uh, to work around. Let's see. These guys do not require tools. I like this. Okay. And they are on the sides of the road. Okay. And then we'll make one here for the, to cover that farm. We'll make one here to cover this area. Crossroads are too close. Okay. They care about safety. Apparently interesting. I'm building this like I would want things to be built for me, like, you know, close to employment. I remember when Houston did this thing, we're like, oh, yes, we're going to build our very first uh, downtown rail and we're going to connect the downtown with the medical center. And I'm like, yeah, that many office people get a paper cut that requires hospital assistance. Let's go. Mm. You know what? They didn't succeed. Imagine that. Yep. It was a disaster. Like nobody takes that uh, rail line. And it's and after like 20 years, it still hasn't expanded because they did such a bad job of like they, did, they didn't understand the idea that the reason people take public transport 
is to get from work to home, home to work. And instead, they connected two areas that are basically commercial areas, like office to office, you know? I was like, okay, <laughs> are you the most clueless people or what? So I, I think those people, they thought, oh yeah, let's connect downtown to itself. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't work that way. They have never been to a major metropolitan area where they've had public transit, evidently. Yep, not a thing. Wait, is this? Oh my God, is this what I think it is? Are they literally taking these boats up here on a conveyor belt? And like dumping the fish into these. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I think these, the devs of this game have never been fishing before <laughs> or never seen fish happen. Come on, go to Norway or Sweden or maybe down to the ocean. Wherever you have fishing happening, it doesn't work this way. I promise you. It really doesn't. Oh my God. That's scary, man. Okay, ROI meter. Yes, we know. Thank you very much. So we actually need some offices here. Um, unfortunately, this ROI meter does not give us a granulated breakdown, which is a shame. Uh, let's see, more office space, and they take up the same area. Okay, so it's basically denser on the office-wise. So employees of, they are the second category of citizen, more demands, and they pay higher taxes. Okay, so they need chilies, spices, textiles, and furniture, but mostly they're okay for now. They're okay for now, as long as we just keep on making insulation. Okay, the garbage place is not... We need to make more um, area here. Let's see, garbage dump. Okay, it doesn't cost any tools, so that's okay, I guess. I also don't understand this paintbrush. Why is it so squirrely? Like, why is it not just a three by three? Why is it this weird shape of like, I, I just don't get it. I do not understand that. Okay, you can do the tips icon in the top right of the screen. Oh, that's nice, okay. There were sections of the tutorial where if I click too fast, I miss some of the text because it would like instantly go to the next section. So I'm glad that you can replay stuff if you want to. Okay, did we get insulation? We did, hooray! But I also don't want to make more, more farms yet because this costs money. How much is a farm for insulation? Hmm, it's under materials, there it is, okay. Insulation farm is, oh, it's zero tools? Oh boy, okay. I wonder if I, if I increase the size of this, will it, probably would, I guess. Let's see, does it tell me production? Three hectares. If I, let's see, let's try to increase this space and see what it does, or if I have to replace the, uh, the thingy. Okay, and we'll delete this road. Okay, farm, what you gonna do now? Hmm. What I can do is I can move it, or not. I guess I have to delete it, because some of the buildings you can move. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just delete it. And then we'll just redo that. Industry thingy thingy hemp. Yes. Yep. Okay. So, so this is now more than 3.3. .3. It's 4.3 hectares. That's good. It's something. And maybe if we buy this plot of land next, because you can you can buy more land and you get to choose. Now, the land is kind of doled out to you, I have to say, that um, where, like, you can choose to buy another thing and it's going to cost 100,000 monies, um, but you can only buy one. You cannot buy more. So they do dole it out very specifically to you. So anyway, but let's see what we got here. Okay, there's one more employee here but hopefully that will give us 
more uh, production because there's more land. All right, let's see. So we're still on this thing. We still need group two employees. Okay. And still missing this. Oh, God. Everything needs insulation. I do feel like I should build more insulation. Let's let's just build a bigger insulation farm down here. Let's go all the way there. Go here and come back. I do believe that one of the farms, maybe it's the fruit farm or something, requires some tools or planks or something. Okay, there we go. So now we have lots of insulation. Wow, this garbage is multiplying quickly. Oh boy. I want to get an incinerator soon, but that's, I think that's locked for now. Okay, uh, garbage. I have to say that some of the icons and stuff don't make a lot of sense to me in terms of... Like, like these. Some of them look like real things and some of them are just like symbols. I think the symbols are clearer in a lot of cases. Like these, they look like a crazy amalgamation of things. Like why is this not just a lightning bolt? And why is this not a drop? You know, instead of having this like 3D modeled thing, why are we not having all of them the same? Like this is a weird UI choice is what I'm trying to get at. Again, these should be symbols so they're easier to to look at. Um, yeah, what is this? Improvement buildings, okay. Planning office, warehouses, okay. <laughs> anyway, I wish that they would choose one consistent look for the interface, that, that was the main thing there. Choose whichever you like. I tend to like the more icon type symbols because to me they convey more information. Um, they're easier to see or look at basically. <clears throat> but as long as it's consistent, it's better, better being consistent. All right, so we are at 1,200 and we can't supply the rest of this stuff without going to, into debt with the tools. We, we do not want to do that. That is not at all desired because there's zero way to get tools. So you see what I mean is like when you have to buy certain buildings, you need tools. I have not found a single other way to get tools other than making them. So you have to have enough to make tools and they don't even warn you of this. This is so annoying. So I would suggest devs, uh, please don't make a person ditch their entire game as I had to do with um, one of my test saves. Um, instead say either save X amount of tools or don't let them spend below X amount of tools or give them the opportunity to buy tools from some medieval blacksmith village next door for say, I don't know, $30,000 or something like that. Cause you can always get money through taxes. You just have to wait if you overspend yourself. So, but, or have a, Hey, we noticed you ran out of tools. Here's a one-time buy of exactly the amount of tools you need to make your tool factory. You know, something like that. Uh, or even better, make the very first tool production factory require no tools. Hmm, I know. That is an absolutely uh, foreign concept, but I am putting it out there because... I just find this so ridiculous. How did you not know this? And how did you not know it would be frustrating? Can you imagine me practicing this game and looking forward to it and getting excited about it? And then it's like, oh crap, I just lost my entire game because I can't build a tool factory. Unless I have not seen something or overlooked some international marketplace. But what I have seen is that there isn't any such thing. You can't buy any of these materials that I have seen. Uh, it may be a choice in the future, but again, I couldn't get past that point because I had no tools left. I had no tools. Oh, it was maddening. It was absolutely maddening. It was very frustrating. So yeah, nothing ruins a gamer experience more than having to ditch the game they just invested their faith in. You know, because you play these games on faith. You want them to turn out well, and then sometimes they mess you up. Uh, otherwise known as they screw you over. That's another nice, friendly terminology for this. 
but I, I, yeah, it would just created a bad impression on me. Bad taste in my mouth, basically. Then I mean, I was, I was like, mm, should I record this or not? I'm not actually sure, but I, I decided to, because I think, I think people watching my channel would enjoy it potentially. So, oh yes, we forgot to look at these new buildings. Aren't these fabulous? I do like that there's a huge variety of styles and stuff. It's quite nice. Um, I'm really impressed considering, you know, this is not like a, a AAA game, right? This is just, this is, this is, uh, I think it's an independent developer. I don't remember actually. Uh, and I don't mean to say just, what I mean to say is that usually non-AAA companies don't have the budget to have this many nice buildings and stuff. So I'm really impressed by that. Okay, we got the thing. We got our tool rot, which is, I guess, our tool factory. We also need an iron mine and a smelter. Maybe the charcoal kiln. I don't know. Um, I believe we can now buy um, land. Yes. Purchasable areas. Oh, really? Three? Okay. Let's... We also have... Um, each of these has different materials like this one has low gold what about this this has high gold um and then the tutorial it might tell us they will actually say uh you know check what's in your next milestone and see if you need it so none of these here says gold to me so i think we're okay with choosing this to the right which i kind of want to use for farms and stuff so let's go get because here this is very little land area in comparison so yeah, we've got a river here, which is nice maybe for food as well. Okay, so they're gonna let us purchase two more areas. When I played one of my test games, it was only gonna let me purchase one at a time. However, they are very expensive. So this is 580,000. We don't have near that much money. So we're gonna skip that for now. So let's return and go back to our city, yay. Okay, let's go, let's go. Also, I changed the buttons for speed up to two. Because I usually do one, two, three for speed. Usually it's one, two, three. But they just have speed up and slow down. So since I never slow down, I never bothered to um, <clears throat> remap that key. We just have <laughs> speed up and then pause. That's how I play games. Uh, all right. So tool factory. Let's go. Um, right. We need iron. So we're going to do iron mine. So small iron smelter needs needs something this makes iron what is that that car of stuff oh coal okay so we need a coal mine as well that sounds scary oh here's a coal mine hmm okay so let's find the iron mine for, or iron vein oh okay sure okay let's put it there and then coal comes from where do I have any coal? Let's find out. You're planning on uh, research center. Okay. Failure is not an option. Thank you very much. We appreciate your confidence. Oh, why can I not move? That was weird. Okay, I was like literally stuck in the corner. Okay, charcoal kiln. All right, so let's pause for a second. So this needs wood. To turn, so this is not actually coal. This is charcoal. Uh, I really wish people would be clued in on that because those are two different materials. Coal is from mining in the ground. Charcoal is from burning um, trees or roasting them, kind of. Um, yeah, roasting trees. Yep. Yeah. Let's just go down here for that. I think I will build another wood. Oh, this built a tunnel. I kind of wanted it to go up the hill. It did go partially up the hill, looks like. Something strange happened with this. This is... Oh, God. The Scandinavians be annoyed, I bet. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Well, let's build the tools near one of them. We'll build... This is the tool rot. Okay, the tool rot needs just iron ingots. Okay, so you build here. And I think I'm going to build another, maybe we'll build another uh, lumber area thingy here. Would That looks like a log to me, man. I wish they would change this. Maybe make it pink, you know, like the Pink Panther insulation or something. Uh, okay, so what we need is a, oh, medium logger. That sounds great, except we don't have it because we don't have enough tools. 
Uh, okay, small logger is two tools. Let's just do this here. All right. And then we build the charcoal, not coal. Please be specific now. Air pollution. Yay. Fantastic. Okay. Hopefully we can re uh, replace this with a medium logger, but we don't actually have the materials yet. Uh, I think that this distribution center is going to be fine. Maybe we can actually make this. Can this, this will go bigger, but this is already like medium size. So let's leave that here and let's let them haul this stuff here. Okay. So they're annoyed at there's no fire protection, but I'm still worried about the tools. So let's just let it run for a bit and let them make their tools. Okay. So we have, this is the iron. Oh, we needed a, oh, we didn't do the smelter yet. Of course. Oh gosh. Let's do that. That was the one thing that we forgot about. So here's a small iron smelter, which takes the coal and the things. Wait, this is the tool, tool rot. Okay. Smelter. Okay, good. Hello? Collision? No, there's no collision. Stop. Okay. That looks amazing. Wow. Yes, that's exactly the alignment we <laughs> really. <laughs> that's exactly the alignment we wanted on a very perpendicular road. Oh, I guess it did this side. I thought this went straight up. I'm confused by this. Okay. All right, it's fine. It's legit. Sure. <laughs> it just seems really stupid. God. Okay, so charcoal kiln is here. We have lots of people living here. These uh, employ people. Let's see. Does it tell us house? Some of them live in apartments. Some live in houses. Okay, so they are taking from both uh, subsets of the population. Uh, do we have a goal here? We need group one and group two people. So let's go ahead and... Oh, there's an Emma there. I don't know if you can hear her. She's extremely loud. So now we're out of insulation. Let's just add more apartments because those those can hold more people. Hopefully it'll fill up these uh, employment areas there. So let's see. We can also build more electricity. Now, the electricity can be anywhere as long as it's covered by the substation AOE. So I'm thinking we can. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. That string there. Gas power plant. Does it tell us what it needs? Do any of these need? So this has a thing, an arrow going into the thing. I guess it just makes stuff. So if some of these titles need to be changed, just FYI. <laughs> I think it looks like the description has run off somehow and ended up as part of the title. Uh, let's see. These are... Um, 180k, 140. These are solar is, there's a lack of fish. Thank you. That's great. Uh, solar is 20,000. I wish they would do it in K rather than 20,000. That, that's a very long number to read there. Uh, okay, so that's the least. Gas, it's probably worth building one of these bigger power plants, uh, except for the fact that we probably can't afford it right now. This is 15,000 for this. Oh, it's worth building though, I think. Just because everybody's meowing. We have no more electricity. That ain't great. Yep, and we have a huge deficit because of that. Uh, oh my God, it's the iron that's causing us deficits really. Uh, we might need to raise the taxes. Let's do 20% for you. We're gonna become European now. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this is even going to help, honestly. Okay, that is helping, but um, yeah, public transport is not very much. Roads, let's see. It's the iron that is very, very expensive. Let's see if this improves at all, because I feel like we should, we should be... This paintbrush is so annoying that it doesn't do exactly the squares. This is really annoying. 
I don't like it at all. It's like, I don't know who designed it, but it ain't a good idea. It's terrible. So let's do office zones. Hello, Emma. Hello, Emma. Oh, you brought your rubber band. Here, let's go and get it. Let's go. Let's go. Whoosh. Okay, you heard the whoosh. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, it might have landed on something where she can't reach it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'll have to get it later. Okay, so these people meowing about fire safety, but yeah, people are pretty unhappy at the moment with the taxes, I think. But I don't really know what else to do about this. Maybe you have to grow your city bigger because at the moment... Build a bank. Yeah, that's a great idea. I would love to build a bank. Can I build a bank? But the the, the problem right now is that we... Um, oh, where is it? City Hall Bank. Here's the bank. Build this over here, say. A demographic is unhappy. Employees, imagine that. <laughs> All right, banking window. Let's go. Come on. Pause. Wait, pause. I can't pause this. Well, that's... Okay, slow motion, whatever. Regional bank. I think we probably need... Uh, this. Capital credit. Yep, there we go. Uh, because... We really need to build up our population so we don't die. Uh, that's kind of needed like crazy. And that's going to take a while. That's why I didn't want like a low amount because I don't know how many loans if we're allowed to take out more than one loan at a time. Um, so we really need to build up this population so that we can get the taxes going I can lower, maybe I can lower these a little bit. Because we have less people paying these. More people that are craftsmen. Oh my god, no, we can't do that at all. Uh, no, 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 sorry. That was just a test. Test of the emergency taxation system, it's fine. Unless people just moved out. Why is it still at 10,000? Uh, eh? Also, why is this going to the left? What is going on with this? Dude. That's so weird. It's like shifting to the left completely. All right. So it looks like we, it, we are requesting industrial stuff here. Um, new jobs. So, yeah. Getting there. We're getting there. Okay, people are sort of getting happier-ish. They're at 75%, so they're not, like, horribly sad or anything. I think we should definitely build more uh, food areas, though. Okay, that's not it. Uh, we need uh, mm, this. Yes. Roads. Yes. Okay. So we're going to build a fruit farm and a another veggie farm because apparently we are lacking those according to our people. They're like, yo, haven't seen a fresh avocado in ages. So how is this working? Is this doing anything? So logger is hopefully transporting porting to here. Yes, are you getting anything done, guys? Hello? Small iron facility. Still no charcoal. Available zero. Why? Shows a number of unemployed people. Oh, the higher the travel costs. Yeah, unemployed people will not work when the travel cost is too high. Well, you know what? But if you're going to be polluting... People are not going to work here anyway. All right, let's just go from here to here and then join up here maybe. And maybe over here we can build another area of employment. Let's 
go here. Maybe we can build like a fishery out here as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't know how far people are willing to transport like food and stuff, but we're at minus 11,000. Oh, that's right, because we got the loan. That's why it's so expensive. Ah, I forgot about that. Mm, sneaky, yes. So we just need to keep on building more and more people who pay taxes. That's what we need to do. So yeah, insulation, we need more insulation. Let's go ahead and build more insulation because this is the thing that we keep struggling with, it seems like. Okay, insulation, there we go. And building a little bit of commercial when we can. Okay, so, hey guys, how you doing? So, can we... Why is this not getting anything? So it has stuff. No access to the water network. Oh, that might be... That might actually be preventing them from proceeding. So we need to get water here for sure. Uh, because many businesses can't function unless they have water. Okay, so this farm uh, should also be working. Very good. So is that working now? Hello? Oh, finally. Okay, so they just needed water. I forgot to look at this panel here. Yeah, they have a... I didn't expect this to be like incoming stuff as well. So anyway, okay, we now are making the iron and hopefully that'll get us some tools. We need stuff. We need, we need taxpayers. We need taxpayers. We need money, people. Okay, we're now down to minus 5,000 instead of 11,000. That seems to be an improvement. I am happy about this improvement. Now it's 7,000. Oh, no, never mind. It's kind of fluctuating wildly. Okay. But at least we're getting iron, I hope. So, hello. Can you give us a, a good, yeah. Production, storage, empty. Maybe we need to do from here. Truck's already on the road. Okay, they're like, yo, we got you, KOS. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about this. All right, but I do think that maybe the money is going to get resolved. Maybe. If we keep on building, okay, we need, what do we need? Resources? Oh, bricks. You want bricks. Okay, so let's build regular taxpayers then. Taxpayers who do not have the money to live in a fancy apartment building. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. More taxpayers. Let's go. Go, go. So here we have our iron smelter. What are you guys lacking? Need 600 more water. Okay. Really? Uh, okay. It looks like a difference of the water tower. So I'm going to go ahead and build one wherever. Where is the other water tower? I think it's here. So make sure and connect it. Okay. So hopefully that's enough. That's better water pressure. Hmm. Okay, this is working now. That's good. Okay. Okay, so there is a certain amount of like water pressure or quantity or something needed for this. So that's great. That's now working. Hooray. Okay. Now we have more bricks. It is kind of different playing a game where you need like resources to build stuff. Wow, we're at... Wow, how did we get to minus 10,000? Dude. Oh, the new water tower. Of course it is. Mm. Yes. Great. That one park is $500 in maintenance. Wow. That's rough, man. Really rough. And as far as I can tell, there's no way to like, uh, like export this stuff. Dude. Give it. 
Give it to the other place. Go, go, go. Hauler collecting goods. Proceed, man. Get this going. We need time to... We need to make stuff. We need to make things. We need, we need more farms. Because people are lacking vegetables. They actually want to eat their vegetables and we're not giving it to them, man. So we need fish and all the other stuff. I wonder if these places... No, it looks like we... Let's see. Total income per week minus 320. That's a lot. But the supermarket, surely that should make us some money. No. Why would it make us any money? What a silly idea. No, 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 no. Uh-huh. That's a very silly, silly idea. Why the heck would it make us money? Okay, more taxes are coming, we hope. Oh, God, we're at minus 15,000. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. That's not great. Are these costing us? Yep, those are also costing us. Come on, guys. Pick, can you please pick up this stuff? Water, office, electricity, air pollution. Can we please get these things picked up? New trucks are on the road. Okay, get going. How has this not been delivered yet? It's right next door. They can just walk this stuff over. Okay, there they took it. Why are they going that way? It's right here, dudes. Hello? Oh my god. Please. Please. Please give us these. This is frustrating. I do feel like the iron is like really expensive to get running. So we just have to really work on getting enough people in here. I wonder how advanced the modeling is for water and electricity. As in like, if people are at work, they're not at home. So therefore, you should have either the offices or the houses functioning with electricity at any one time. I mean, obviously, IRL, some people do stay at home. Um, but uh, in single, single people or couples who work, that would be the case, basically. Building destroyed by fire. Are you joking? Oh my god. Oh no. Rebuild building. We are running out of tools. Come on, people. Okay, finally. So seven, six to 11. That should be, f is it? Oh, okay. I think it makes one. I think it makes one extra. One per iron thingy. Okay, so go pick up the tools, please. Pick them up. Finally, we get stuff. Oh my God. This is a tiny bit scary, this game. Tiny bit. I shouldn't actually talk about that because I think that it's probably time to finish this episode, I would say. Yeah, we've gone way over. So anyway, this is, I think it's, what is it called again? High Rise City. I thought I remembered that. So yeah, uh, check it out. It's on Steam. It got released um, yesterday. And I hope you've enjoyed this so far. If you like this, please let me know and I'll make another episode. Uh, so far, it seems interesting. It seems very difficult with the money uh, so far. But I think that um, that iron, maybe you're not supposed to build the iron stuff until way later or something. Um, but yeah, things definitely cost money. So it's definitely a challenging game. That's great. I like challenging games. That's pretty cool. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.